Hi, Mom. Why did you come so late? Uh, I was... It's the principal, ma. The principal? Yes, Mom. I can you imagine, Mom? I told you. Teachers in Nigeria are so hard on the students. Can you imagine? The math teacher actually reported us to the principal saying that we were not involved in the quiz competition. Quiz competition? Mm-hmm. I thought we shouldn't go because they already got their participants. And we now explained to the principal, he's like, we should wait and then until the students get back, then we'll go home. He punished you? Yes. Why do you need to go with others? Because I thought you'd be worried sick, mom. Do Esther thought otherwise, but I thought we should just stay. Okay. Thank God. You will soon get used to the system, okay? So why didn't you call? You need to go with your phone. Uh, um, uh, actually, ma, our phones are off. The batteries are low. I thought our phone was on, but when I checked, it was off as well. Alright. You're welcome. Go in and freshen up. Thanks, mom. Esther. Go inside and wait for me. To everyone there. Okay, bye. Rita, what are you still doing? Oh, right now, five miles. Mom! I'm counting for you. Mom, you're such a pain. Let it go. See her. Come and join me in the kitchen. Come on, I'm going to run for the day. You are what? What's <laughs> happening here? My dear? My dear? What happened? What did she do? She came late from school and told you lie. Lie? Why? Esther? What happened? Esther, what were you doing till now in school? I, I, I was... You are lying. Look at my face and tell me you are not. So tell me, where did you go after school? I'm listening. I waited for her so that we could come home together. But she said some of her friends wanted to take her out. And so and I went with them. So who were these friends? A few guys. But they are students too. How many were they? Three boys. <laughs> so you sat down and ate with them? That was because I was waiting for her. And they bought some for me too. <laughs> what does someone verse 1 say? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Esther, you are walking with the ungodly. You are standing in the way of sinners. And you are sitting with the scornful. I'm sorry, Mom. And I warned you. Esther, I warned you to stay clear of anything that will pollute you. The Bible says, depart from every appearance of evil. We are beginning to work against what you stand for. We are beginning to work against righteousness. I'm sorry, Mom. Jesus. You are telling lies. You are going to serve your punishment and then ask God to forgive you. Get on your knees and raise up your hands. Come on. Come on, raise your hands properly. <laughs> uh uh. Hester, you are not getting younger. And you must not forget that you have a glorious destiny. And you cannot afford to truncate it or destroy it with your carelessness. 
Remember Dina, Jacob's daughter in the Bible. I'm sure you know the story very well. This was how she started. Mixing with wrong people. And her destiny was truncated and polluted. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> she walked out of God's protection, looking for the daughters of the land. And before you know it, she was polluted and her destiny was cancelled. I will never hide anything about her again in the Bible. <laughs> Remember Queen Esther in the Bible? She kept herself until God brought her to the palace to reign. If you must get to the top, you must endure suffering and overcome temptation. You are growing every day and you cannot afford to miss it. If you stay in God and obey His instruction, you will overcome. <laughs> My dear, please forgive me. Okay. Okay. Now, let's pray. We are going to ask God to forgive you. And you must promise Him that you will never do that again. Okay? Let us pray.